Hey guys, Nathan here from Running Warehouse Australia. Today we're going to take a little look back over the year that was 2020 with some of my favourite shoes. We're going to have a look at my favourite daily trainer, my favourite lightweight trainer, my favourite racing flat and favourite trail shoe. So let's dive into it. So first off, starting with a daily trainer and it's the New Balance 1080 V10. This is my shoe, so it has been worn. Uh, I really like how it's nice and smooth underfoot. You get ample amounts of cushioning for any distance run, be it from half an hour all the way up to an hour and a half, two hour long run. I like the upper, how it feels and adapts. I still get a nice midfoot lockdown. This was one of my favorite trainers of early 2020 and it stayed all the way through. So next up, we've got Lightweight Trainer and my shoe of choice for this is the Skechers Go Run Razor 3. The Lightweight category was really tough for me to just pick one because I do really enjoy a good Lightweight Trainer. But why I chose the Skechers was that Hyperburst midsole. It's soft, it's responsive, um, it gives me everything I want in a Lightweight Trainer. Um, and this whole shoe weighs 190 grams for a men's size nine, which is lighter than some racing flats out on the market while staying nice and cushioned underfoot. Now this one was released quite early um, 2020, even 2019. I haven't got to try the Razor Plus yet, but I'm really looking forward to getting that one on my foot as well. Trail, I went versatile. I went something which can handle a lot of different conditions. I went something which I found really nice and cushioned, but again, responsive. Kind of sounds like a, a lightweight trail shoe to me. Um, but the Salomon Sense Ride 3. Now again, this is my shoe. I've done a lot of Ks in it. It can handle a wide variety of conditions. The Contra Grip outsole, um, it's handled a lot of dry conditions in Perth. I found it grips really nicely. I mentioned cushioning. This shoe with the OptiVibe cushioning, especially through that heel, gives me enough whether I'm running a 10K trail race, even up to a 50K plus um, ultra trail race. Um, this shoe can handle a lot of different things. Now, recently, I'm gonna have to give an honorable mention here, the Hoka Challenger ATR6, almost took the trail shoe of 2020. Racing, my favorite racing flat for 2020 was the New Balance Fuel Cell RC Elite. In this shoe, I ran my half marathon PB and it gave me everything I wanted on race day. It was nice and soft through the heel. It was explosive through the forefoot when I was towing off. Uh, Later on in the race, I needed a bit more of that cushioning at the back because I got tired, but it gave me everything I wanted. I really enjoyed the TC and the RC. It was a fantastic addition to New Balance's lineup in 2020. I think this one has been slept on a little bit and I can't wait to see what 2021 has in store from New Balance. So that's my picks for 2020. 20 in daily trainer, lightweight trainer, racing flat and trail shoe. I'm sure there's going to be much debate about your favourite running shoes for 2020. So why don't you let us know what yours were in the comments down below.